Have you ever wondered if there's a simple way to replace your full-time job income with just one investment? Sounds impossible, right? It's not. There's a way to build a portfolio with just one ETF that could set you on the path to financial freedom. The key is picking the right investment vehicle, one that has the potential to outperform over time while keeping things simple and efficient. But which ETF should you choose? Should you stick with the tried and true US market or go global for greater diversification? In this video, we will dive deep into three powerful ETFs that could transform your financial future, explore their pros and cons, and help you decide which one might be the right fit for you. Without further ado, let's get right into it. 1. VOO ETF – Vanguard S&P 500 ETF Launched by Vanguard in 2010, this ETF is designed to closely track the performance of the S&P 500 index, which includes 500 of the largest publicly traded companies in the United States. It has become a go-to choice for investors who want broad exposure to the U.S. market without the complexity of selecting individual stocks. By owning VOO, investors gain access to a diversified slice of the U.S. economy capturing the growth potential of major industries through a single, low-cost investment vehicle. Its simplicity and track record of delivering consistent, long-term returns make it particularly appealing for those pursuing a set-it-and-forget-it strategy. When we look at its competition, well, it becomes clear why this ETF is so attractive to investors. The fund covers a wide range of sectors, from technology to healthcare to financials and consumer goods, which provides a level of diversification that reduces risk. Technology is the dominant sector, representing around 28% of the fund. This isn't surprising, though, considering that companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and NVIDIA are some of the largest holdings. In fact, these top tech companies alone make up a significant portion of the fund's total value. Other sectors, such as healthcare and financials, are also well represented providing exposure to major players like Johnson & Johnson and J.P. Morgan Chase. The result is a balanced portfolio that includes some of the most profitable and stable companies in the world. Performance-wise, the ETF has delivered impressive results over time. Historically, the S&P 500 has provided annualized returns of around 10 to 12 percent, and VOO mirrors this performance due to its direct link to the index. It's important to note that this ETF is known for its low expense ratio of 0.03%, meaning that investors can enjoy these strong returns without high management fees eating into their profits. Over the last decade, it has proven to be a reliable vehicle for wealth generation, making it a core holding in many long-term investment portfolios. Its ability to weather market volatility while still delivering solid returns has earned it the trust of both institutional investors and individual investors alike. Many of the world's largest institutional investors have recognized its value and hold significant stakes in the fund. A few of the major institutions being BlackRock, Fidelity, and Charles Schwab. These organizations manage billions of dollars and rely on VOO for its combination of growth, stability, and cost-effectiveness. Their investment signals confidence in the ETF as institutional investors typically prioritize funds that offer a solid balance of risk and reward. Moreover, many high-net-worth individuals and financial advisors recommend the ETF for those looking to passively grow their wealth over time, given its low fees and strong long-term performance. When it comes to expert opinions, few carry more weight than Warren Buffett. Buffett has long advocated for passive investing, often recommending that the average investor put their money into a low-cost S&P 500 index fund like VOO. He believes that trying to beat the market through stock picking is a losing game for most people, and that owning a broad index fund over the long term is a surefire way to build wealth. So, why consider VOO? If you believe in the long-term growth of the U.S. economy and want exposure to some of the most profitable companies in the world, VOO is an excellent choice. Its diversified portfolio reduces risk, and its low cost ensures that more of your money is working for you. Whether you're a beginning investor or a seasoned pro, VOO provides a straightforward way to participate in the market's growth without the stress of managing individual stocks. 
Its historical performance, low fees, and expert endorsements make it a standout option for anyone seeking to build wealth over time. But if you need a more budget-friendly alternative, the SPLG ETF is another alternative. 2. SPLG ETF SPDR Portfolio S&P 500 ETF This one is often seen as a more budget-friendly alternative, offering virtually the same exposure to the S&P 500 index but with a slightly lower cost structure. Managed by SPDR, State Street Global Advisors, this ETF aims to track the performance of the S&P 500 just like VOO, providing investors with access to the same 500 companies that dominate the U.S. market. These include well-known names like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and NVIDIA. For investors looking to capitalize on the growth and stability of these large-cap companies, SPLG offers a simple, efficient, and affordable way to do so. Launched in 2005, SPLG is designed for investors who want long-term exposure to U.S. equities but are particularly conscious of keeping costs low. It has quickly gained popularity among cost-sensitive investors who recognize the benefits of a diversified portfolio that mirrors the S&P 500 but want to minimize their expense ratios. Its expense ratio stands out at just 0.02% making it one of the lowest-cost ways to invest in the U.S. stock market. This minimal fee structure means that for every $10,000 invested, you're paying only $2 annually in management fees. Over time, these savings can compound, particularly for long-term investors who are looking to maximize their returns by keeping costs as low as possible. While both ETFs aim to replicate the performance of the S&P 500, SPLG's expense ratio of 0.02% is slightly lower than VOO's 0.03%, making it an attractive choice for those focused on minimizing costs. Performance-wise, SPLG and VOO are virtually identical. Since both funds track the same index, their returns have historically mirrored each other very closely. The S&P 500 has provided annual returns of around 10 to 12 percent on average over the past decade, and both SPLG and VOO have followed suit. Investors can expect the same growth potential with SPLG as they would with VOO, benefiting from the S&P 500's broad exposure to sectors like technology, healthcare, and consumer goods. The top holdings are the same in both ETFs ensuring that investors in either fund are getting the growth of the largest and most influential companies in the U.S. However, there are a few considerations when choosing between the two. SPLG is smaller in terms of total assets under management compared to VOO, which means it may be slightly less liquid for very large investors. That being said, for the average retail investor, this difference is unlikely to be significant. Both ETFs offer excellent liquidity, making it easy to buy or sell shares without much concern about price fluctuations due to trade volume. But there is also one more you might want to look at, the VT ETF. 3. VT ETF – Vanguard Total World Stock ETF This one is an investment that gives you exposure to the entire global stock market in one simple, efficient package. Launched in 2008, it aims to track the performance of the FTSE Global All-Cap Index, which includes stocks from both developed and emerging markets across the world. With VT, you aren't limited to U.S. stocks. Instead, you're invested in thousands of companies from a wide range of countries, industries, and economies. This makes VT a great choice for investors looking for broad diversification and global market exposure. It's essentially a one-stop shop for anyone who wants to own a piece of the global economy without having to manage multiple individual investments. The composition of VT is truly vast, with over 9,000 stocks included in the fund. These stocks are spread across multiple sectors and regions, offering comprehensive exposure to both developed and emerging markets. Approximately 60% of the fund is allocated to U.S. companies which means you still get significant exposure to major players like Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon, similar to what you'd find in a U.S.-focused ETF like VOO. However, what sets VT apart 
is the remaining 40% of its holdings, which are distributed among companies from Europe, Asia, Latin America, and other regions. This global spread helps to mitigate the risks associated with investing in a single country's economy. For instance, if the U.S. market were to experience a downturn, the international holdings in VT might help cushion some of the impact by performing better in other regions of the world. So far, the ETF has delivered consistent returns over the years, providing investors with exposure to the entire global stock market. Historically, VT has offered annualized returns of around 7-8% to over the last decade. While this may be slightly lower than the returns of U.S.-focused ETFs like VOO, it reflects the broader scope of VT's global exposure. This performance comes with the benefit of diversification, as VT spreads its investments across both developed and emerging markets. During periods when the U.S. market performs exceptionally well, VT may trail slightly behind U.S.-centric funds, but it compensates for this with exposure to international markets that can provide growth when U.S. stocks lag. The ETF's expense ratio of 0.07% is relatively low considering its global reach, making it a cost-effective way to invest in the entire world's stock market without the need for multiple funds or complex strategies. Interestingly, the ETF has attracted the attention of large institutional investors who value its ability to offer comprehensive global diversification. Major financial institutions like Vanguard, Charles Schwab, and Fidelity hold significant positions in VT, leveraging its broad market exposure for long-term growth and stability. These institutions often recommend VT as a cornerstone for portfolios where global diversification is a priority. The fact that such large players rely on VT adds to its credibility as a solid investment option for those looking for broad exposure to global equities. For retail investors, VT's large investor base ensures strong liquidity, meaning that buying and selling shares is easy and efficient. So why should you consider VT? The answer lies in its global diversification. For investors who want exposure to the global economy without the hassle of managing multiple funds, VT is an ideal choice. It provides access to both developed and emerging markets, making it a true all-in-one solution for those seeking a diversified portfolio. While VT may not offer the same level of growth potential as U.S.-focused funds during U.S. bull markets, it compensates by offering protection through international exposure. It's a smart choice for anyone who believes that the global economy's long-term prospects are bright and wants to capture that growth in a cost-efficient way. Anyway, what do you think? Which of these ETFs do you think will work for you? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, please leave a like, subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this one.